What's this? Quake? Yes, let's finish Quake 1 Dissolution of Eternity Unless I'm completely mixing No, I think this is Dissolution of Eternity, yes As far as I remember there are three maps left now to finish in this uh, expansion And I'm looking forward to trying to do that in one video Oh god damn, and right off the bat there is a fucking multi-grenade Super Goblin, whatever, Orc Ogre, yes Third try success And I already have 9 health I was really thinking that this would do something here Oh well Right, mad dash for the medkits Oh no, oh no I'm just leaving Oh, this is fortunate Okay, no, this isn't a hole through to that place, so I cannot throw grenades there. Let's see if I cannot bounce them in some really smart way here. Holy fuck. But he isn't there anymore, is he? No, he is. Yeah, that's... I'm not dealing with that. It's a pity grenade launcher wouldn't really work in Doom, because... Bouncing stuff around corners is really fun. Where are you? Did he silently die? I think he silently died. Alright, and let's not forget the quick save. Also, what's that sound? Probably some trap, like a soul blade or something. Man, I haven't played quick in so long, I don't remember how the weapons feel and all that stuff. Oh, forgot to mention, this is Blood Sacrifice, I hope I loaded the right <laughs> save game here, because I think I remember the Aztec setting that we left on last time. Okay. For some strange reason, you see, I don't think it... Uh, yeah, no. There is no, like, date of the save around here, it's only the order and of course I could have looked it up in the last episode of this which one I saved into last, but <laughs> no, that's doing extra things when I can just rely on chance and intellect I don't know which one of those I have more also fun stuff, fun anecdote I suppose uh, actually I kinda had it for a long time, I just forgot to share it in the Dark Souls videos with Hippocat because I was so just engaged with the action uh, just before New Year at some of the last days in December at work uh, I think at least yeah uh, we got uh, Oculus Rift delivered some sort of demo version well I'm not sure it's like the best version they got because it was really pixelated and everyone else pretty much just thought that no you can't release they cannot possibly release it in such a state uh, but I got to try it really wasn't interested for a while but then everyone started speaking how much they wanted to puke after five seconds in it and I wasn't to, wanted to test myself so to speak so I came and tried it it's really interesting they had some demo of like a house on a cliff in the ocean or something like that. mountains in distance some sort of seaside uh, what's the word the resort type villa or something kind of just a little area could go inside uh, just to walk around and not much else and uh, well don't even know where to start the controls are interesting cannot at least I, th I don't think you can... yeah uh, Mouse only controls a la Doom Left to right And also you can turn your head and that Predictably enough turns your head around and If I remember correctly it also turns where you walk Which is kinda strange I would expect some sort of tank, you know, like the uh, Where you walk is separate from where you look That seems like the whole advantage of the system Where you can use your head to control stuff but it was really interesting in the sense that uh, the fellow level designer that works at our company have worked has worked there longer than I, much longer than I, 
uh, said that it's basically like looking into binoculars. But for me, it was like the whole my whole field of vision was covered by the screens. And uh, oh, shitty crap! Oh, I'm not dead. Imagine that. Um, okay. And it does kind of. I wasn't like completely blown away. Absolutely like mind fucked or anything. But it was really, really interesting. Especially because it was so low res. It was like playing in, I don't know, 6, 640 by 480, but every pixel was, instead of just being a little square, you know, like when you drive a car at night in rain, I think it has to be rain. Like every light has this sort of lens flare effect diagonally like this. Imagine if you were playing in really low res and every single pixel had this sort of lens flare thing. That's like it was. And... Uh, well... I actually didn't really have much trouble and I would... I would play some game in that resolution. But it is admittedly not for everyone and uh, I, th I suppose many people would have been completely disgusted by that if they bought it and found out it was that resolution. Which is why... Uh, no one really thought it was the final version or anything. Uh, the the, mo the best part is, I think I was the only one in the office who could spend a long time in there without any ill feelings. And also, uh, the very best part, which is like classic Android, uh, while walking around in that place I found some missing polygons on some uh, railings. You know, like on the side of the cliff, there's this railing like this in an arc. And, uh, it just kind of stops like it was cut like this and there is nothing at the end and there is just hole at the end of this part of railing and it looks really dumb. Uh, I, I was like all triumphant, ha, found missing polygons and the boss was, oh, I'm sure the developers are just te tearing their hair out over the fact that you found the missing polygons in it. Okay, why didn't I die from this? And also the sunflowers didn't have any... There were sunflowers and they didn't have any collision whatsoever. And you could walk through them. And let me tell you, just walking through polygons... Where the developers made lazy collision to some model is a completely different experience. Very, very immersive on the Oculus Rift. But overall I, I thought it was fun. If it's... it, And I mean... It must be relatively affordable in the end, because it's supposed to be like a mass product for everyone. So... I I even contemplated getting one for myself if they ever went anywhere with it. It's that interesting. I'm kind of imagining, I read in the news in, on Steam about the mod for Dark Souls, which had uh, first-person view and how nauseating that was. And I sort of imagined playing that with Oculus Rift and just dying IRL and that's how I cover a lot of time without anything to really talk about in game now I have nothing to talk about anymore except for the fact that I definitely left some unexplored areas like there for example and I'm beating myself over it this feels like a secret I don't remember did it say that a <laughs> secret found I don't think I did. Well, let's continue here. If anything happens, I can just kind of return later. Ooh! Oh, floating pl Did we ever have... Yes, we did. There was those two blocks... Boxes... Which I always bring up... In... Summer early... Real Quake... Which, when you press the switch, they fly up and insert themselves into... Uh, some slots, and then stuff happens. There was floating platforms. I thought for a second, whoa, is it this, like the first instance of legitimate flying platforms in Quake? But no. You know what? I want to give them their own medicine. But it's more effective when administered via rocket launcher, of course. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, hell. Good thing I had this out. I was afraid that lava was going to start rising or some shit like that. 
I can take a few war fireballs. It's nothing I haven't seen before. <gasps> How many rockets does it actually shoot? It looked like four there, but surely it couldn't be four. Whoa. I have so much ammo for it. You know what I think? I think this game needed... What the fuck is that? Oh, some spears or tridents. Uh, this game really needed this expansion, I mean, of course. Uh, really needed, I think, some enemies that would be just completely unfair if you didn't use these modified super weapons on them. Like, super healthy, super powerful. There's a couple that like the war that were challenging before but now they could use them in situations where you just pretty much have to kill them instantly like the shambler without any cover okay what did i just accomplish can i climb somewhere prefer not to find out by falling down let's see yep the door is open but now the previously strong enemy is kind of devolved into stuff that you can kill instantly and prefer to do it that way but i would have appreciated a bit more violent reminder that I have these and need to use them because I do have them uh, in the form of some really tough enemies kind of like I guess in Doom 2 when they are using Mancubi and Revenants and stuff like the Terracnotrons like they were using imps Pr well probably not imps but they weren't really any mid-tier enemies maybe Kek demons uh, in Doom 1 <gasps> Because for the super shotgun, all that stuff is completely wow. That was an interesting ambush. Um, all that stuff was completely trivialized, of course. Okay, someone's clearly shooting still. Well, yeah, that didn't work out at all. Right, so there's more. Hmm, how should I approach this? Do I have anything that would kill them fast but without any splash damage? Let's see what if I try this. Uh, not really. Does this actually have splash damage? Let's check it out. Yes, it does. Let's see the normal thing. Yeah, ooh, okay. Wonder if I just jumped out by myself or if I was helped by a grenade. In any case, that went better than expected, and apparently it didn't, the second ambush didn't spawn anyone behind me, so that's generous of them, I suppose. Okay. Okay, now, yeah, there's the circular cell blade that I was hearing, and still am hearing. I wonder if it goes down, if I stand under it. No? Wait, what's the point, then? I can't even get it if I... Probably I have to go back through here and it lowers them, or maybe it goes through the floor and the level above, or something. Okay, how was this? Was it just a wall that I accidentally hit with splash damage? Somehow this expansion becomes more and more just uh, twisty corridors with enemies around every second corner. Kind of feels like they may have been running out of inspiration. I do think I I liked the first episode a bit more. Pity it's even unrequired a bit. Also, I was thinking purely purely, purely hypothetically. If, say, we had a Quake-like game with episode selection first, obviously a shooter, uh, would it be more interesting? What does this do? Oh, this is actually probably just for the ammo or whatever was in there. Would it be more interesting if uh, the episodes kind of adjusted the difficulty? Meaning, like, uh, depending on which order you chose them. So, if, like, uh, you head into episode 4 first it would have less enemies and stuff and if you head into episode 1 last it would be brutal like episode 4 needed to be kind of just like pretty much the number of episodes whichever number of episodes there are 
they would need to have the levels would need to have that number of difficulty settings built into them and uh, pick one depending on what number this episode is in your playthrough or I know I am kind of torn on this idea because on one hand it's cool it's like old school nostalgic gamey uh, to have uh, a tough episode that's always tough and the kind of easy episode that you would want to start with but on the other hand that really only I think m might apply to games that we legitimately have nostalgia for so therefore real games real old games and pulling stuff like that might not really work if you're just making a new game and trying to mask it as something that we could have played as a kid and like oh fuck so it's like imagine if you're nostalgic for this so imagine imagine that you're enjoying this am I oh I it's just burning through my armor well that's interesting oh okay oh shit no 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, never get told just standing there taking it all like a boss. You can just feel their desperation as they're trying to cut you and cut you and cut you and just kind of stand there shrugging it off and shooting them repeatedly in the face. Hello, lizard man. You look kind of dumb. But then again, it probably imitates the style of some, I don't know, not very professional sculptors of ancient times pretty well. Da, da, da. A game like this is also a really great uh, holiday from console stuff like Assassin's Creed, which some of you might have noticed I recently uh, chose to not recommend Assassin's Creed 2 on Steam because, well, I had some fun in some parts but I realized how much I fucking cannot stand context sensitive controls like when the game picks for you and tries to decide what you actually wanted to do when you press a button and the button could have like five actions depending on where the character stands, where exactly it's positioned sometimes it works and more often than not it really doesn't and you know just playing that I, I miss having collisions and physics of an old character, old game character, which... Ah, oh, fuck. Something as simple as, you know, standing on a ledge, you press direction of a ledge, and you walk off this ledge and you fall, and then you have to deal with the consequences of where you chose to fall, but you can fall easily. It's really fucking hard to just fall off stuff quietly, silently. You either have to kind of climb down like an idiot, like in flashback, or do this. Ooh. You cannot just kind of walk off stuff, or at least I cannot do it quickly enough. So well. Guess that's the game I would be playing only for the atmosphere. Oh, and I find another secret there. Okay. I feel like I was here before. I feel like I cannot really tell these corridors apart whatsoever. Oh well, let's go deeper into the secret. Okay. I feel like the skull texture was used before in some... Maybe in another Quake episode. Ooh. I wonder if I'll be able to make use of this. Let's save and bolt it. This wasn't bl- I- huh? I don't think it was bloody when I came through first. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to ignore. Alright, I'm glad I did this now. I was hoping some boss would have spawned, but well, my invulnerability already ran out. Okay, let's investigate stuff that I ran through before and oh, and see if I missed anything important or useful. What? How? Where? Oh, okay. There is a lot of secrets in this level. Okay, kind of scratched my nose there. Very important. Okay, I feel like I should take this out for a spin. 
my super invulnerability uh, invisibility scarf. Okay, there's a portal. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, there's shells on the floor. <laughs> ah, I'm stuck! Stuck! Door stuck! Jesus Christ, suffered some damage there. Oh! How about no? Shit! You know what I think? <laughs> I think we, I realized it a bit too late, probably, but with these dudes. It's much safer to just try to catch the ro the grenades head on because then it does the damage of one grenade because it doesn't have the chance to split. It's not really logical because it would have the payload of all the grenades and it still it should have at least, but it doesn't. It's just like a single grenade before it splits, I think. Okay, I already forgot what this does. Power shell. I think it just kind of slightly absorbs damage. Doesn't do a very good job of it, of course. Fuh, phew. But oh well. Stop bouncing me around, the souls are annoying. Okay. No. It's like fireworks, New Year. I should have played this on New Year, that would have been appropriate. Alright, exit? Mm, not really. There was a locked door there? I don't remember a locked door. What is this? Oh crap. Lava spikes. Somehow every one of them missed me. Shibudu! Was it blood from me or from the wall? Probably from me. Oh no. Ah oh, yes. Well sounded like I enjoyed it, but believe me I didn't. These tails make too much sound. Haha! I should have this weapon out more often. Okay, is this the exit or was it the entrance? This was definitely somewhere around the end. Oh, and there's the locked door. I guess I just kind of saw, decided not to go there and didn't really remember it. Oh well, happens. Hmm. Ooh. Well, this level is taking longer than I expected. Also, what's happening? Oh, just lava! Huh. Pathetic. Okay, I'm assuming there is going to be another naked dude with a ridiculous head. So, let's take out the weapon that I deem most powerful. Yep. Okay. No, eight. Ah, it didn't work out. Let's see how this actually does. Ooh, that's cool. This kind of looks like it would be better for multiple enemies, kind of like a BFG almost. Oh well, didn't work out at all. Ooh, what was that? Okay, awesome. <laughs> this is turning out a bit harder than I expected. I wonder if I should... Yeah, probably would be a good idea to kill these guys first. It's like Hell Knights to this guy's Baron. Probably do the same damage, but die much faster. This makes... Like... Unnervingly large amounts of sense. Hmm. 
All right. So I guess Quake was kind of like a false god trying to travel through dimensions and ages and recruit people to his cause or something? I don't know. Doesn't seem like something he'd need to do, really. Oh well. This suddenly looks very Egyptian. Uh, I hear enough of this kind of sound when my neighbors up or below decide to drill some walls. I don't really need to hear it in game. Last Bastion. This almost sounds like a name of a shit haha that what level. I think what uh I know I have just outposts. I think I had like first outpost, second outpost. Oh that's a suit, not a zombie. Oh that's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh they can fit this stuff through the windows, that was inconsequential. You, since when are you there? Oh, -ho -ho. to ten, what's up here? I'm not really using the best weapon, am I? All right, moats, awesome. Let's. Uh, it sounds like fish. <laughs> Idiots. Why do you make sounds underwater? I thought fish were supposed to be quiet. Yeah. And once again, this looks exactly like the more ill model we have in our game. Which speaks of the quality of one of these games, I don't know which, really. Well, maybe our has a bit more polygons, but still. Okay, but, important question here. Was the mode optional or can I not enter? I can enter, so I choose not to. Let's see what awaits me under this thing. Honestly, after playing through the first Quake and Almost getting to the end of this expansion, this is still considered a secret? That's really... Sh that's like, should not be a secret by this point. This is tradition, almost. If, it, if nothing was there, I would be completely outraged. Oh well. Hmm. Should I or should I not? Is there... I can probably get there from the other side. I should not waste my grenades or my health. Trying to grenade jump again. Do I get it? No, I rocket jump, I don't grenade jump, I, I don't think. Okay, I'm sticking to my super powerful mega ochre. Ochre, yes. Ochre launcher, I don't know why why it's an ochre launcher now, but it is. Since we have so much ammo for these guns, I figure might go for a bit of Russian overkill. Another useless power shield. Wait, was this here before? Why is there a piece of dog here? I said, oh, right. Now I figured it out. Duh! Okay, more sauce. Clearly, whatever this... The owner of this bastion is, is adapting ancient Aztec technology. Wait, what was that? I just saw... Dang it, I cannot bring up a mouse cursor in any way. Like, uh, you see those squares above my ammo counter? I think I thought I just saw one of them, like, lit up. The one above six, I think. I wonder what the fuck that was. <gasps> no! <laughs> but either, uh, either are they seriously trying to 
um, what's the word there? Um, blah, blah, blah. Inconvenience me because it's not really kill or hurt. There's no chance of that, but are they trying to inconvenience me with dogs at this point? Yep. Okay, I can go for a good old axe for a second. What's going on? Something is constantly opening and closing. Okay. Actually, I have maximum normal rockets. Let's switch to this for a while. Oh, this. Russia! Why? How? It definitely was not supposed to bounce off in that thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost forgot that you exist. Oh well, trading blows usually works in this game. If he was smart, he would have walked away, but he isn't smart. No, apparently I'm not very smart either. But I still managed to be the best in this whole place of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not expect that. So, what keeps opening the doors? Whatever. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it works. Oh fucking hell. Okay, let's see if this actually has any redeeming qualities whatsoever. Well, <laughs> I guess it works in some retarded fashion. What? Who? Where? These guys are annoyingly healthy. Okay. Right, let's return to the silver door then. It was really more like silver bars. Thank you, Quake. Who really cares? Ooh. What the hell is this construction here? Really strange. Also, I spy with my camera, I guess, first person camera, something that has projectiles as thin as my rockets. Almost as comically thin as Mancubus flames. Oh well. Can I? I can. Thank you, I'd rather not. Why does it feel like there my gun auto aims vertically where I don't need it? Multi rockets. Yeah. How do I dodge this stuff? Ah, I don't. That was obvious. Suck it, I guess. I mean, if you don't mind. Alright. You got me in the ass. Feels nice to accomplish something, finally. Will be acknowledged, to be more precise. That was dumb. 
It would be interesting. I don't know. Those hills do they just have a simple melee attack? It would be interesting if they had an area kind of area effect. I mean, if you just got close to them, you're basically fucked because they would release electricity in some radius. I don't know how it really works underwater. Ooh, electricity. Shouldn't it? I don't know. Spread across the whole ocean if you electrocute an ocean. Or does it have a radius over which it dissipates or does it not spread at all? How it works, I don't know. I'm kind of interested now. Was there something on that direction? Oh no, it's the bars that open on this side. Oh well. I'm feeling like I missed a lot of places where I wanted to check out before. Like, for example, maybe the silver bars. But I'm pretty confident we will return there eventually at some point. Yeah, probably the grenade drone sure is a bit better for this situation. No. If I was a kid right now, this would be like the most sinister and scary level ever. But seriously, zombies just aren't so scary anymore. Oh well. I do keep saying oh well a lot, don't I? I... you knew I wanted to say oh well after that sentence. But I didn't. You must first seems arbitrary, kind of. Aha! Hook eye, and I want that. Actually, I want a lot of things. But that seems the most available. And... Miss. Managed to nail it when it's falling down. That's nice, I don't know I could do that. Well, I didn't really have any reason to not think you could do that, but I, I guess I didn't think of that anyway. Mm, seems like something I should rather jump down from somewhere. I'm getting a bit lost in here and also stuck. Kind of beginning to lose track of all these corridors and tunnels and... Yeah, tunnels. Tunnels and canals. Why would you pick the shotgun here for me, game? That's much better. I wonder if the last level is going to be a short boss level or if it's going to be a full length level like this too. Either way, I'm recording at all today. No use in prolonging this whole thing. And I am... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well now thank you without sarcasm. I am actually starting a new Let's Play if all goes right uh, this weekend. It's going to be... A custom Doom world called Doom to the way it did by the Doom World community. At least some part of it, I guess. Better or worse part you cannot say, but I guess if it produces quality thing, it's probably a rather good part. And uh, uh, a guy from Doom World will be joining me in commentary. Who most of you probably never heard before, unless you are from Doom World, and you might have seen his streams. I'm of course talking about Saint Alfonso, who is not so saint anymore. Someone will get that. Well, that's not uh, nothing to get really. I think account Saint Alfonso was like banned, and he registered as plain old Alfonso. Yes, Alfonso. I should suggest he rename himself to Alfonso this time. Oh well. Here is hoping it will get a bit more views than like 32 per video as the last of mine seem to be. Which is kind of discouraging, but I don't really care so much as just playing the games that I'm recording, so... Ugh. 
not that sad for me, I guess. Only a little. I think I could see that. Also, that's totally going through the polygon. Boo hoo! That's dumb and bad and and dumb. I thought only new games did this kind of shit with doors, but apparently not. Ha! Huh, inconspicuous. Mario! No! Fuck everyone! In this place. It kept shooting me in the ass. I wonder if it helped me climb or not. Okay, let's use this thing again. Where did it go? Sounds like it's down there for some reason. Or... Now it sounds like it's here. Why have I this gun selected? Okay, no, this really feels like something for crowd control. Let's stick to good old multi-rockets. Aha! <laughs> Pathetic. Although he still would have killed me if I had no cover, so I don't know really where I got that from on the last level that... Hmm. Hmm. They could just throw shamblers at me without cover and I would be able to kill them quick enough. Okay, so this is apparently nothing. Oh, I was hoping one of these was a secret. Oh, I think these are like the... Hmm. No, they're not like the bot. Whatever. Operable. How do you pronounce that word? Operable? 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 Perhaps? Haha, <laughs> infighting. Take this. Okay, this is getting mighty confusing. Also, this thing looks familiar. Better not approach it. Looks like it could shoot something. Oh, there's two of them. There's totally going to be lightning going between these things now, isn't there? Wow, this is retardedly complex drawbridge technology. Also, I still have not used my silver key, I think. I kind of want to, but I have no idea how to get back at this point. I hope this isn't the exit. Oh, hell no. Was he... Staggering each time I hit him there. Stop doing dogs. It's it's late for that. Hmm, apparently I was here before. Oh fuck. Keep forgetting that these guys exist because they're so sparsely used, I guess. Sparsely, scarcely, whatever. Rarely. They are such a marshmallow. What is that? Oh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Look at you. How about no? How about no? Someone's writing in Skype or just... No, I don't think it's writing. Someone just came online. Ah, I forgot to set my Skype stats to... Do not disturb. Oh well. This feels like an exit. Let's see. Yep, an exit. And I really want to see what the fuck do I use my silver key. I still have it. Bear with me, please, for a sec. What? That's strange. Couldn't walk down there for some reason. So... How do I get back up? Gah!
Oh hell no, I'm not going back in these tunnels. Mm. You know what, I'm regretting this, but let's just no clip. Because I don't think you can really get back now. And by you, I of course mean I. Oh fuck, what was that? Wow, that was interesting. I didn't see that room, I think. Wow, did I skip the, an entire section somehow? With my little lava cage jump. Fuck off. Hmm. So, what was the point of this? What happens here if I... Oh! So wait, this is just a fake floor. Wow, how mature. Wait, why do I... Why cannot I fly up anymore? That's strange. I really want to just kind of see what's beyond that place where I usually fall down. So let's see, here it's health. Some ammo, some traps. Oh wait, you can go from this direction, I guess. This thing, that thing. Yeah. Wonder if you're supposed to be there. Oh well. I guess we'll never find out. Let's go. Presumably to the final level. Source of well, this is a bold claim. Quite a bold choice for level name. Couldn't possibly be the source of all evil. Okay, this looks ominous. Oh, hello. I'm going to start shooting you immediately if you don't mind. Thank you, physics. So yeah, here's the promised dragon, which I was... Ooh, fuck. Was sure for some inane reason that he was going to be in Armagon, but now he was in... Doe. And he makes the cyber demon look like a total pussy. Let's see if I cannot find anything more useful. Okay, the key part here is obviously... swim in the lava. Clearly. Well, with people who shoot explosive stuff, it's best to not stand with your back to a wall. Oh, marvels. He also... Whoa! -ho -ho. He has electricity powers. Oh, fucking course. Yeah, like that. And I think this thing is just completely harmful to my coast. Whoa! No, 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 no. Well, this is going to take a while. At least it's the entire level, I suppose. But a dragon is extremely boring. Am I the only one who finds dragons extremely boring? They're the, like the most generic fantasy creature ever. If you want something big, strong and evil, you just do a dragon. They aren't really scary or anything. Well, wow, this isn't really fair. Uh, hmm. So, how would I go about doing this? Hmm, maybe this bridge thing. Fuck off with your electricity bullshit. Oh, now it's the ground shaking. I cannot really stand on that bridge. 
Wonderful. The bullshit earthquakes are the worst part. Also, stop switching to my fucking grenade launcher. I don't want grenades. I don't think he can shoot out of his ass, so maybe it, it, it's a good idea to just kind of try to stay behind him. Unless he can turn on a dime somehow. This is an interesting strategy, if it works. Fucking earthquakes, I hate you so much. <laughs> Console, I hate you too. God damn it, when are you going down, Dragon? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Now I am not very fond of the quakes, <laughs> of the earthquakes, uh, but that was a very interesting, I wonder if that was a legitimate strategy or if it's just kind of an exploit, or I wonder if there is an easier strategy that I didn't think of, but uh, it makes sense, Dragon would not be very maneuverable, able to really just kind of turn towards you wherever, uh, and uh, it was a really, really interesting strategy to have to trail, stay behind him at all times so he cannot shoot at you and kind of follow him a bit, shooting him in the ass. That was a cool boss, much better than freaking Scrooge McDuck from the first expansion. From the distance this looks like, you know, some kind of windows into a bright sky and sun and Wow, but now it's just lamps. Okay, coo 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 wake. Hello. Egypt evil people. Who else have we got? Am I destroying civilizations by pressing these buttons? Aqua people, which I don't really remember. Were there aqua people? I don't think so. We had Egypt, the Aztecs and Greece. Maybe this Greece. There's the Aztecs. See Quake Queens completed. That thing looks suspicious. I don't trust it. Oh, hello. Destroy the temporal energy converter. How about instead I pocket it and uh, scientists back home try to figure out the way to use this to the benefit of all mankind. No? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Finally, Quake Quake's temporal teleporter yields to your laggy ass, old. A high pitched screen emits from the devastated device as stressed steel blasts outward to rock the cavern. Cavern, yeah, cavern. The machine is devoured by molten lava and I'm apparently pressed into a cube. The ground shudders as reality shifts back to its predestined path. You run to enter the charged time pod, scrambling in as the chamber closes. I had really a lot of time there before it closed. Your consciousness fades as you realize you have halted Quake Quake's plans for the dissolution of eternity. Name drop. I would have really liked to have a bit more... Oh, did I hit the microphones there? Sorry. Uh, to have a really a bit more in-depth exploration, I guess, or explanation at least, of how 
that plan would have worked should it succeed. What was he even trying to do? Was it like Final Fantasy VIII style collapsing time or something? I, I don't know. A disillusion. How was he? Or was he just literally trying to dissolve time somehow? I, I want to know the science behind that. But I suppose it's some kind of... If the dragon was somehow... Or I guess no, the dragon wasn't really the mastermind. He was just some kind of very, very powerful guardian of this whole thing. And Quake Quake retreats to think up another metal sounding plan. But I guess no more because there was no more expansions. Oh well. No matter what I press I cannot do anything. I guess this might have happened at the end of real Quake. I don't really remember. In any case, here we are. Finished with the last play. And uh, thank you for watching, see you in some other let's play afterwards, goodbye.